Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we print some specific pattern using asterisk or the star symbol. Here we print this format. Let's see how it looks to the skin. Here we divide the whole skin into rows and columns. These are the rows and these are the columns. As you can see here, in first row, it prints 7 star. In second row, it prints 6 star. In third row, it prints 5 star and so on. So the starts are printed in decreasing order. To print this format, we need two loops. One loop for rows and another loop for column. As you can see here, the picture has seven rows. So we need a loop that executes seven times. And we can write the loop as for row equal to maximum number of row. Here maximum number of row is seven. So we initialize here row equal to seven. Since the starts are printed in decreasing order, that's why we start from 7 and go up to 1. Next we write the termination condition that is row getter equal to 1 means it run up to 1 and when the value of row will be 0 it will terminate. Next we decrement the value of row by 1 that is row minus minus. The next thing that I tell you here we print multiple star in each row. In first row we print 7 star. In second row we print 6 star. In third row we print 5 star and so on. So to print multiple star in each row we need another loop and we can write it as for column equal to 1, column less equal to row and then increment the value of column by 1 that is column plus plus. That's it. Let's move to the coding. Here first we declare variables which we use in our program. I am going to declare here int row column in short call and n. Next I am going to ask user how many rows they want to print. Print f enter number of rows. And a new line. Next we read the input number using scanf function. Scanf person d and then m person n. Here we need two loops, one for rows and another for column. Here first we write the outer for loop which runs for row. So I am gonna write here for. Here we initialize row equal to maximum number of row. Here maximum number of row is n. So here we initialize row equal to n. Then write the termination condition that is row getter equal to 1 and then decrement the value of row by 1 that is row minus minus. Inside this loop we write another loop that runs for column. So I am going to write here for column equal to 1, column less equal to row and then increment the value of column by 1 that is column plus plus. Next we print the star using printf statement printf and give here a star symbol. The last thing that we need to do, print a new line to go to the next row, print f backslash n. Our program is completed, let's check the output. Compile it and run it. Enter number of rows, I am going to enter 5. And the output is this, first print 5 star, then 4 star, then 3 star, then 2 star and then 1 star. Let's check it for another value. Compile it and run it. Enter number of rows. I am going to enter 10. And the output is this. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.